clearly uh, decarbonization is the word which is going around and then the market uh, continuously for very good reasons. And this, uh, of course, includes a lot of uh, different uh, challenges where, which have uh, solutions available also from Norse Power. So our road to sale technology uh, is able to support our customers by reducing fuel consumption, reducing emissions and thereby uh, going towards the zero carbon uh, shipping that is the target. Yes, of course. Uh, the Norse Power rotor sale uh, is based on the Flettner rotor concept, which was already 100 years ago proven to work well as a mechanical sale. It consists of a rotating rotor, a cylindrical uh, uh, part which is installed on the ship's deck. It's rotated with an electrical motor inside the rotor. And when this uh, spinning surface of the rotor meets the wind, uh, the, there will be a pressure difference created on the different sides of the rotor, creating a lift force similar to an airplane wing, for example. And it, this uh, effect is called the Magnus effect, and it's uh, in our everyday lives seen in, for example, ball games, where a spinning ball flying through the air is curving uh, instead of flying straight. So this uh, force is then uh, used to help the ship's uh, main propulsion uh, uh, take the ship uh, to the speed required with less propeller power, less fuel consumption from main propulsion and less emissions. Yes, of course, uh, wind propulsion uh, is uh, a market now very much developing uh, and uh, interest is growing strongly uh, with the confidence uh, that, uh, for example, our references have proven uh, the benefits and, and applicability to many different kinds of ships. Uh, that means that uh, the organization of uh, Norse Power is growing rapidly. We are hiring much more people to uh, make sure that uh, our deliveries are executed uh, according to requirements and we have a uh, satisfied customer and well operating uh, rotor sales on ships, uh, reducing the fuel consumption. Right. Uh, we envision that uh, wind propulsion will become the norm in new building ships, but also many retrofit ships, especially for uh, younger ships. Uh, it will become uh, a normal part of the ship's uh, deck uh, structures and, uh, and uh, more or less uh, it will be um, uh, uncommon to, to have ships which don't have uh, wind propulsion in one way or another. Um, and, uh, of course, the developments that we are seeing are related to uh, the interaction and cooperation between the different parties in the designing ships, building ships and operating them. So we as a wind propulsion supplier uh, must and we are very eager to work with our customers and stakeholders to make sure that uh, in the big picture we achieve the best possible uh, efficiency and user uh, uh, interface uh, friendliness and, and all the other factors that not only from our point of view we could achieve ourselves. So cooperation is the key.